Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're looking at first angle projection. So on the left of the screen, here we have a three-dimensional object, right? And we are looking in the direction of A. And the first thing that we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw what we see right here. Okay, we're gonna draw this. This is what we would see when we look at the in the direction of A. Okay. So I'm gonna draw a two-dimensional drawing. To represent the three-dimensional object that is highlighted on the left of the screen all right so the first thing we're going to draw is a baseline all right so we're going to draw a baseline a construction baseline good then the next thing we're going to do now we're going to um, insert in the measurements on the drawing okay okay here we have the um, dimensions on the drawing, the three-dimensional drawing. What, we, what we'll be doing now, we'll be drawing the 2D drawing for the 3D drawing shown here. And we'll be looking at the, in the direction of A, and we'll see a view called the front elevation. All right, so looking in A, we see the front elevation. So we're going to draw the front elevation now. So the the base should be 60 millimeters because 30 and 30 is 60. Then we're going to go up 30. Then we're going to go across 30 again. And we're going to go down 15, right? Then we're going to go across 30. And we're going to go down 15, right? So this is our front elevation that we would see in the direction of A. So what we're going to do now, we're going to label. Uh, no, we're going to, yes, we're going to. All right, so I've labeled my front elevation. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to draw the top view looking from above, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to project construction lines coming down. Enter. Okay, construction lines coming down. All right. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna gonna measure twenty five millimeters going down. Okay. So I want a line going down 25 millimeters. So it's a space, the front, the plan view, okay? All right, then now we're gonna go across, which would be what, 60? Then we're gonna go down 30. Then we're gonna go across 60. And then we're gonna go um, 30. All right, enter. So this would have been the plan view, okay? So let us label the plan view. All right, so I've labeled the plan and I've labeled the front elevation. And I've moved the plan five millimeters more from the plan to give it some more space. So the distance between the front elevation and plan on my drawing is thir um. 30 millimeters because I had measured 25 before and then um, I moved it 5 millimeters more. So the total distance between the two drawings are is 30 millimeters. All right, so having drawn the front elevation, which is here, and the plan, which the plan will be showing this, 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 this. this and this right that what that is what the plan will be showing right or right, the next thing we're gonna do now we're gonna draw the end elevation looking from this way okay so to get to transfer to the, the next step is to draw a construction line from here right and the angle this this line must be long enough to 
so that when you draw the horizontal lines from the plan, it would be able to intersect the 45 degree line that I'm drawing here. All right, so I'm going to make the length 100, which is taller than what we need. Angle. All right, so we need a 45 degree line right here. Three fifteen. All right, enter. All right, so what we're going to do, we're not going to draw lines from the plan from here to intersect the line. Then we're going to draw a line again from here to there, enter. All right, what I'm going to do now. I'm going to project the lines going up, okay? All right, so we're going to project lines going up now from where these lines intersect the 45 degree line going up. From here going up. All right. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do now? We're gonna draw the top line, right? So we're gonna carry this line across. This line going across to there, right? We're also gonna carry this line going across to there. So we're gonna go. It's a construction line. So we're gonna go from there to there, enter, all right? Good. All right, we're gonna label the end elevation. All right, so I've labeled the end elevation. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side to get the other end elevation looking from behind here, okay? All right, so we're gonna draw a line here. Yes, we're going to make the length of the line 100 millimeters. And the angle that we're going to use is 2, 2, 5. All right. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to draw a line from the plan to intersect, to intersect this 45 degree construction line. We're going to do the same thing again from here going across enter okay all right so where the lines intersect the 45 degree lines we're going to project them up enter we're going to repeat there going up enter okay then we're going to draw a line from the top going across All right, we're going to draw another line from here. This, this corner going across. All right. All right, so looking at the object, the three-dimensional object, you see that I put some labels on there. So the front elevation will be looking in the direction of A. The plan will be the, uh, looking above from the direction B. C would be over here, right? And D would be over this side, all right? All right, so I've labeled the views for you. So A is looking in the direction of A. B is looking from above in the direction of B. C, the view C is looking in the direction of C. And D is looking in the direction of D. And this is where D will be located relative to the front elevation, okay? All right, so what we're gonna what we're we are finished now. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna darken the drawing, all right? Okay, so here is our completed drawing 
of the two-dimensional drawing of the three-dimensional drawing on the left, okay? All right, here is our completed drawing, two-dimensional drawing. And this drawing is drawn in first angle projection as indicated by the title. So in today's drawing, we looked at the, how do we represent a three-dimensional object which was on the left of the screen in a two-dimensional um, projection, right? And we use first angle projection to represent the views. So thanks for watching. See you in, see you in the next video. In the next video, we'll be looking at third angle projection. So me, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share.